Hello, and welcome to Animal Chiropractic Clinic Chatter, a podcast where Dr. O, from all creatures, every spine, interviews doctors and animal owners that utilize animal chiropractic to get their unique perspectives. Yes, it's really a thing. Dr. O utilizes his 30 years of experience as both an animal chiropractor and veterinarian, and to dig deep into the discussion of complex issues affecting the lives of your animal friends and companions. Join us for this educational episode. Thanks for joining us for this portion of the episode as Dr. O begins to answer the question, What is animal chiropractic? He will look at how the chiropractic adjustment is a valuable and viable treatment for what ails your animals. Hey everybody, so what is animal chiropractic? It's not the cure-all, but it sure does help a lot of things. You know, there's a lot of dogs that wait too long and they come in and they still feel better. Man, if they'd have been in here a year or two before, we saw a 17-year-old dog this weekend that's only been here three times. First time they got carried in. Now, this last time she pulled the lady back out to the car when she was done. She was ready to go home. I was at the feed store today standing in line, wait my turn, get some uh, feed for the horses. The guy in front of me says, so I said, yeah, we won't be getting dog food anymore. We had to put our dog down. If you find another one like her, hear somebody, you know, give me a call. And the lady behind the counter said, yeah, you know, we're going to have to make that decision soon too. Our 13-year-old dog is just slowing down quite a little bit, you know, it's just hard for her to get out, run around anymore. Um, very difficult. And I said, well, get her chiropractic adjustment. Oh, no, she's okay. She's doing fine. She moves great. I said, wait a minute. What did you just say? She said, well, I said she she gets a little tired. She gets a little sore. She has trouble moving around. I said, yeah. But she can run great. Well, you know, it's amazing. All of us, you know, no matter what your injury has, is, what previous stuff you have going on, you get a little endorphin going. And it's amazing what, what a good painkiller that is. And everything just kind of feels better. And then you really suffer tomorrow. I mean, you know, how many of us, have, you know, have had a great day and been out having fun, family, and you think, oh, maybe I overdid it. And you're like, no, not really. And then the next day, you're like, oh, I overdid it. Because you're so sore. Well, you know, the chiropractic examination and adjustment, because they only adjust you if you need it. And they go in and they check the spine, the animal chiropractor will check the spine, make sure there's full range of motion in all the joints in the spine. Because if those joints don't have a full range of motion, they're not getting proper nutrition. If they can't get proper nutrition, they can't be healthy. And if they can't, if they're not healthy, then they can't, you know, live and breathe and lubricate right. And they can't do what they're supposed to do, which is help your animal move, help your animal interact with gravity in an efficient way. And sometimes the animal chiropractor doesn't even need to watch your animal move; just needs to watch him stand. You know, if a dog looks like he's a goat on a rock, there's something wrong. You know, if a horse looks like he's parked out all the time, there's something wrong. He's interacting with gravity in an inappropriate way. Not the best way to, for an animal to live. Gets tired all the time. So what that animal chiropractor is going to do, he's going to restore motion to those joints. And that's going to help those joints to function better, to move better, to excrete waste products better. And for your animal to have a healthy, happier life. And when those, when those joints are in the spine are, are moving properly and when they're functioning properly and getting one of the race products, there won't be any swelling in there. And then the nerves can uh, flow better. And you'll have, they won't have tingling in their, their kidneys and liver and pancreas and everything else. All those uh, internal organs can function at the best 
of their ability, including the heart and lungs. You know, it's really hard if you have a rib subluxation to breathe appropriately. If you can't breathe appropriately, you're gonna pant. Your dog will pant. He'll build up CO2 and he'll pee more. You know, because that's the body's secondary way to get rid of that CO2 is to increase urination. So the animal chiropractor, as animal chiropractors, all we do is examine the spine. We find areas in the spine that aren't moving properly. So we identify these as vertebral subluxations. And then with a very specific and very accurate thrust, we restore motion to that joint. And then the body takes it from there. And the nervous system that your dog or horse was born with, or your chicken or cow that was born with, does what it was meant to do and helps your animal function at maximum capability. Whether that's being the best couch potato dog in the world or the best dock diving dog in the world. That's what's important. Keep adjusted. Until next time, see you later. Make sure to visit our website, allcreatureseveryspine.com, where you can subscribe to the show and learn more about getting your animals adjusted. If you are in the Meridian, Texas area, drop in on a Tuesday afternoon to get your animals adjusted. If that isn't possible, schedule a consultation on your animal's health with Dr. O. You can also purchase a copy of Dr. O's book. Yes, it's really a thing. Helping others experience an abundant life with the gift art and blessing that is animal chiropractic is our sole mission at all creatures every spine it's what we do it's what we love it truly is what keeps us motivated to help people just like you i truly love the art of chiropractic it drives me to provide the highest level of chiropractic possible and as fellow chiropractic business owners it's that love that drives us to become better However, the reality is that sometimes running a successful business can be challenging. Sometimes there can be obstacles to overcome. We all know the old saying, if it were easy, everyone would do it. Well, one thing that is really easy is marketing our clinic with a professional animal chiropractic website by the Cairo website pro, Tony Seymour. He's a professional web designer and his team at Cairo Website Pro take good care of us. They simply make marketing our practice 100% hassle free. If you're looking for the number one hands-free way to market your practice, give the Cairo Website Pro a call at 423-779-4630 or simply visit www.cairowebsitepro.com and make sure you ask them about the special ACES discount and let them know Dr. Amy and Dr. O sent you. You'll be glad. Join us as Dr. O interviews a certified chiropractor, veterinarian, or an animal owner. These enthusiastic people explain how they utilize animal chiropractic to alter the lives of the animals in their communities. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Animal Chiropractic Clinic Chatter. I'm your host, Dr. O, and today we're here with Dr. Kevin Gower. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself, sir. Uh... Yeah, name's Kevin Gower. I practice in Steamboat Springs, Colorado uh, with my fiance, Dr. Carrie. Uh, we've been in practice about three years and this June, I will be coming up on one year of having my animal chiropractic license in Colorado. All right. And how has animal chiropractic, how has implementing animal chiropractic changed your practice? I think the biggest thing implementing animal chiropractic has just been making practice more fun for me. Um, 
I was at a point where just kind of seeing doing the same thing over and over with humans, which is always rewarding. I'm always very you know, grateful for the people that come into our practice, but you know, it's it's fun seeing animals in the middle of a busy shift and having someone be like, what, you do dogs? You can do horses? <laughs> like, and it's just that great moment to educate them and remind them, yeah, anyone with the spine and nervous system needs their spine check. So it's been a great educational tool, but it's also been an awesome, you know, part of people's families, like their dogs, it's, people treat them like their kids. So it's just as important to get them checked and make sure they're expressing life to their fullest. Cool. All right. So tell me about your biggest win. With animal chiropractic? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think my biggest win, we had a current practice member coming in and he was super down one day and I found out that his dog hadn't been doing well. And we talked about bringing his, his pup in and when he brought her in, he wheeled her in in a wagon um, and she was unable to walk. Um, an older dog and he just kind of felt like she was at the end of her ropes and he brings her in for her adjustment and he tells me that later that day he has an appointment scheduled with the vet to put her down so I'm like sitting there like are you serious like you're giving me one adjustment with your dog um, but you know it was what it was and we pulled her out of the wagon and set her up on the bail and started you know, assessing her spine, checking her for subluxations and you know, found it, fixed it. And I just had this chill kind of run through me and I kind of looked at him and I said, watch this. And I picked this dog up off the bail and I set her down and sure enough, she walked to the back of the office and started drinking water out of the dog bowl. And it was like one adjustment, his dog was, you know, not walking perfect, but walking. And she hadn't walked in like a month. And it was just amazing experience. And you know, the owner, he starts crying right there. It was huge. And unfortunately his dog ended up passing away like a month later, but he got to come home from work and his dog would greet him at the door or at the fence. He could take his dog on walks again. So he really felt like he got to have his dog back for that last month and really be able to experience that and say goodbye to her properly. Yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah. All right. So, you know, how has it changed uh, uh, the your your family life and what you know what you're able to do with the family? Uh, what do you mean? Well, like quality of life thing like that does it help that in here um i mean we have two kiddos a two-year-old and a four-year-old and i think like we we mostly do we try to schedule dogs in the middle of a shift but a lot of times we'll end up scheduling them on friday so my little girls ask me almost every friday if they can come into the office and help you know with dog adjustments or watch and that's made the different dynamic in the practice just more fun for my family um so i would say like that's the biggest thing is it's just it's fun they enjoy watching seeing dogs get adjusted and um they get to learn more about chiropractic and how it doesn't just benefit us but it benefits all animals yeah, cool all right uh is there anything you wish everybody knew about all the animal owners in your area knew about animal chiropractic. Um, I mean, I just wish that everyone knew it was a thing for one. Um, it's amazing how many people just don't realize that, yes, your book, it's really a thing. And we have that book sitting in our assessment room. So on everyone's first appointment, you know, that's if they're sitting in there, they see that book every time. And so that's been 
you know, a really great way for people to kind of bring up the question and ask it on their first appointment. You guys do dogs? Um, <laughs> but I wish, yeah, that everybody knew that it was a thing and understood just more of how it can be beneficial. There was someone in here yesterday that she was coming in to go over her x-rays, but I heard her up front talking to our um, chiropractic angels that her dog was having issues leaking and was kind of peeing and she'd done X, Y, and Z and hadn't been able to figure it out. And at the end of the shift, I'm like, and you guys didn't schedule her dog. Why? <laughs> like, <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> so it's just, you know, that component of knowing that when the brain communicates with the rest of the body, everything functions better. And animals are just you know they're quicker to respond and you don't have to break through any ego or any belief system of what chiropractic is or what it isn't they just they get adjusted and it's an immediate sense of gratitude they're wagging their tail they're licking you they're happy they come in for the next appointment they jump up on the bail and they're like oh i remember this guy this guy's awesome he helped me like i want some of this yeah so, you know, if humans were out here like licking me and doing that, it'd be kind of weird, but it's awesome with dogs. <laughs> yeah, cool. All right. Um, so what would you tell anybody that was thinking about, you know, oh, this would never be a good part of my practice. I don't think I could ever um, make the investment back. Yeah, um, as I look at it, we have incorporated animals into our practice, but that's not the major component of our practice. Um, and that's really a component that it's just, it's more fun for me and I really enjoy it. And, you know, as you're thinking about becoming an animal chiropractor, looking at the investment was like a no big deal for me because with some simple math, I figured out I could easily make my investment back in a year. And, you know, I'm in my late twenties and 30 years of practice. Like that's a no brainer for me. Like the investment was easy. Um, the, the fascinating part for me was how, you know, philosophically based, um, ACEs program was and going through the training and, helping to educate the owners because like the dogs know they feel it they function better they respond well but it's also that component of you know making sure the owner understands the importance and the you know, simple little tactics you guys showed us of things that they can look for of hey i might make this recommendation to see your dog once a week or your horse once a month or you know whatever it is but hey, look for this too. This is a sign they're subluxated and they need adjusted sooner. Um, and, you know, just like with humans, we can, we feel and we're like, oh, something feels off. I need to go get checked. Well, it's just as easy for the owners to help us and make sure their animal's functioning and, you know, doing whatever its job is at its best. If that's being a family pet, if that's being a competing animal or what, but um just knowing when to check for that as well cool all right uh i i think we're about done any parting words mm, no i mean i would say that working with animals is definitely super fulfilling you know it's just like taking care of somebody's baby it's just as much a part of the family, if not more so for some people. And um, it's always fun. There's never been an animal that I've worked with that I was like, oh, I hope that person doesn't show up again. <laughs> like, it's always fun. <laughs> right. And and I know there's always a concern, you know, when we, when we, uh, you know, competition ha have, do you get much? Well, you know, I can get it done cheaper down the road, or I can, you know, so and so 
a lay person can adjust my dog and you know do you or do you let the results just speak for themselves um yeah that's that's a great question and we live in a pretty small mountain town in colorado and steamboat here the population's like 12,000 humans and there's one animal chiropractor also here and there's another one that comes up like once a month to do horses and i have not looked at it at all as you know them being competition in fact i've reached out to them and said like hey if i go on vacation like i'm hitting you up if i have some animals that need adjusted and feel free to do the same for me um, cool. if you think about let's just say every other person has a dog that's you know six thousand dogs in this town i'm not going to be able to adjust all those by myself and then we can add in horses so like in colorado we can mostly adjust dogs and horses you know without a vet being there so yeah. you know that doesn't include you know all the other animals parakeets and whatnot that could be adjusted as well but I just, I don't look at it as competition because the more animals that need to be adjusted, the better. And the more that more chiropractors that are here that can do that, great. I'm all for it. And, um, you know, mostly our practice members that come in here, bring in their animals or ask us to go out to their ranch and take care of their animals. And, you know, I'm happy that there are other animal chiropractors in town for sure. Cool. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time this morning. Uh, I know you said it's snowing. Yes. Uh, <laughs> there's probably extra work to do with the snow before you get ready for your shift. So anyway, uh, thanks again. And everybody that's listening, stay adjusted. Remember, the body heals from above, down, inside out. There's no other way. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks for having me. If you are or know a veterinarian or chiropractor or a student of either of these professions, visit our website, Animal Chiropractic Education Source, to see how to become certified in animal chiropractic. Start improving the lives of the animals around you. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to the ACES channels so that you never miss an exciting episode.